Hello, this is Terrell Pauley with Learn Healthcare IT. In this video, let's I wanted to briefly talk about the salary, the amount of um, what what do healthcare IT professionals make as far as as far as salary ranges? And I wanted to briefly talk about talk about that. Now, when you talk about uh, salary, I mean within healthcare IT, you're going to have you have a a you know a multitude, a wide range of different positions, and that you can actually you know be in within healthcare IT. As far as like based on my experience, for instance, you can um, you know. Um, you can actually, you know, positions such as PAX, PAX administrator, risk administrator, HL7 interface engineer, applications specialist. Um, you can be a uh, you can be a consultant. You can be a you can be a support technician. So I mean, you, you know, you can just be a number of different uh, different. There are a number of different positions to be within the healthcare IT uh, field. So when you ask about, like, you ask about salaries, you can, you know, get like a wide range, and just depending on depending upon like your experience level too as well that that that'll actually come into play. And in, in addition to where you live and things of that nature. So now, while I have not found a comprehensive list of different salary positions based on different fields within healthcare IT per se. But what, what we can do is actually, there is a, uh, we can do a search real quick here to get an overall perspective of what is the, what is the average from for healthcare IT positions, you know, in, in general. So if we just do a Google search for healthcare IT salary 2018. Okay. So we come here. Next what we're going to come down to is we're going to come down to hymns. And hymns is a nonprofit uh, organization that focuses on healthcare IT and information, you know, technology. So if we come down into him, HIMS, follow this link here, 2018 HIMS US Compensation Salary, they have a very comprehensive and detailed guide, report or survey here. We can just come here to read report. And we can actually come down here. It's where they have a 2018 compens compensation survey, U.S. compensation survey. So it tells you here that, that this survey is based on 885, almost 1,000, almost 900 respondents um, representing healthcare IT professionals. And it gives you a lot of uh, details here about the survey respondents. Okay, tells you some, um, give you some pre-information, uh, their met methodology, the respondent's met uh, methodology, then their findings here. You'll see the average salary of digital health professionals in this year's study is 109,000. So 109 grand is the, is the average across all professions within the healthcare IT space. 109 grand, which is, uh, which is uh, very good now. And then, that's their first observation. And then they literally in this in this document here, they break down different observations. So that's the observation one. Then they go on to uh, and it's 
survey by, by year, it shows you the trend. Observation two, conversation disparities is this among select population groups. So they do it by, they break it down by gender, males and females, males make a, look, make a little more, um, about 20 grand more per year versus females. And it gives you that uh, survey over the years that the trend All right, so it gives you a lot of different graph, uh, different uh, different graphs and measures to break down. I mean, it's it's very detailed and it's very useful if you want to take a look at if you wanted to take a look at that. A lot of different graphics here, based on region, female by region by job type, this, this is for strictly for females actually. Non-management versus management and executive. So let's just keep going down here. Uh, then they break it down by race. So race, whites versus non-whites. Average conversation by race and gender. So they have a, a lot, a lot of different uh, graphs and and uh, components to this survey here that they that they've broken down. Racial racial pay. Racial pay disparity by organization. Racial pay disparity by hospital type. And so you can actually come here and, and view this. I'm not gonna go over everything that's in here, just kind of kind of scrolling through and looking at the different um, types of uh, information that they have here in this survey, but it's very detailed. So average survey. So you can actually, but in general, inclusion, again, this is based on 855, I thought it was 85, about 900 digital US professionals, digital health professionals. And, but in general, the average again is 109,000, uh, 110, 110 grand per year is the average for healthcare IT professionals in general. Now, if you wanted to break down that as far as different uh, healthcare IT positions, you know, positions within healthcare IT, that uh, you may, have, may have to do some bit more searching and around for that. I haven't come across that myself, but what I do know is that if we come back, say for instance, for Paximin, it's some some um, positions are, they, be, they make available for the salary, make it more easily, readily available than others, such as a Pax administrator salary. So for instance, like on salary.com for Pax administrator, the base salary ranges from 74 grand to 94 grand with the average base salary, 83 grand per year for ex administrators. On that, you know, this gives you more information. You can actually, it gives you details, job description. You can actually modify this to where you can, uh, do it per region, you know, based on where you're at. It gives you different base salaries, which is helpful. And you can also, I believe you can also adjust this based on your uh, relevant job experience, your level of education, depending on you know, who you report to, 
the number of people that you manage. This is on salary, salary.com. But if you just do a, uh, a Google search for PAX administrator salary, that'll come up and you'll be able to, you'll be able to find that. So this is just kind of, uh, gives you, uh, like an overview, overview of what you could expect for just the typical, maybe average salary, um, salary for a healthcare IT professional. It is, uh, you know, in my experience, I mean, being in healthcare IT can be very, uh, lucr you know, lucrative. And it's, it's, it's gives you the opportunity, you know, to make some, make some very good, you know, good, good money, good, good income. So I hope that this was like little short video was helpful. Um, you can actually, in, you know, you'll be able to find this information to where you can get to it and see it and download it on your own, that, that actual, that PDF. So if you like this video, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about this, you know, leave them in the comment section below. Also, if, um, you know, like I, I myself, you know, I've been, I've been in this, uh, in the healthcare IT space for, you know, over 13 years. So I've, you know, I've been a PAX admin for four years and also I've had other physicians too as well. So, um, I, uh, you know, have a lot of experience in, in this, in this field. So I hope this was good and beneficial to you. So until next time, my name is Terrell Pauly. Take care.